today we're going to be installing OpenVAS on our local Linux system. So we'll open up Terminal and we'll run sudo apt install gvm and OpenVAS. GVM just stands for Greenbone Vulnerability Manager. Okay, so that should now be created. We'll now clear the page and we'll run sudo gvm hyphen setup. Now this is a common warning you might run into when starting OpenVAS for the first time and it's just to do with the Postgres version that you have installed on your system. So we'll change directory to the Postgres location and we'll open, using our text editor, we'll open the postgres.conf file. We'll scroll down. This is on version 14 at the moment and it requires 15. So the port set up here is 5432, which is the default port. We're going to change that to 5433 and we're going to do the same thing, go into version 15 and we're going to set it to 5432, which is the default port. So that should resolve the error that we were running into earlier. Change it here. We'll save this file and now we'll run sudo systemctl restart postgres. And that will restart that service for us. So now if we go back, run sudo gvm setup, it should now start building itself out. Okay, it's now built itself out. So at the bottom there you can see it says, you can now run gvm check setup to make sure everything is correctly configured. In this instance, it already says that the admin user exists. That's because I previously had this installed. If it's a brand new install, you will get a new user admin and the password there as well. So we're gonna run sudo gvm hyphen check hyphen setup. Now, what we're gonna do quickly is just change our password for the user GVM. So I'm just checking to see which user exists. We've got one here, underscore GVM. So we'll run sudo hyphen capital E hyphen U, the username, which is underscore GVM. We're gonna get the same group as well. And we're gonna set, specify the user admin and we're gonna specify a new password. Okay, and GVM services are already running. So now we can launch it in our web browser. So navigating to our local loopback address, which is just our local host on the port 9392. Now you can see there we've set it up on port 443, so we're gonna change that to HTTPS with SSL encryption. Here we can input the user admin and the password that we've just saved. And there we have it. We now have access to OpenVAS on our local Linux system and we can perform vulnerability assessments.